What's going on guys, my name is Renegade, today we're here for my full Void High Lord review. I'll be talking about my opinions on Void High Lord and uh, whether I think it's a good class and all that sort of thing today. So uh, if you want to see my guide on how to use the class, then you'll have to go to my class guide, which I did separately. I usually do that sort of thing together in one video, but I thought I'd do it in two videos because I want to talk in depth about my thoughts and then how to use the class. So. My thoughts on the class is that it's a really, really good soloing class. It does the whole soloing thing really, really well. It has a great heal, um, it sustains itself exceptionally well, and uh, it just has an amazing, amazing damage output. So if you are looking for a really, really good soloing class, then Void High Lord's your, your class, I suppose. Now, as for its other things that I think are really good about it, um, it has really cool animations. The animations are like swords flying around and, you know, things getting summoned out of the ground and a big, like, symbols and stuff. It's just really cool. It's all Nolgath themed, so if you're into that, then that's all real, real cool. Um, and it has a really unique set of abilities as well. Not only are the abilities make it a great soloing class, but they also are really fun to use and unique. It has a thing, which I think is almost the highlight of the class, I guess, uh, called Shackle Unshackle, where you can choose to either shackle your enemy or unshackle them. And uh, depending on which one you chose, you either get a hot or a dot on them. Well, a hot on yourself or a dot on the enemy. And uh, that makes for a really interesting mechanic where you can decide whether you want to uh, be, a bit, be a bit more risky, I suppose, and uh, not have the hot on yourself, and instead sacrifice that for some damage on the enemy. Now, you also do have a lifesteal heal, uh, which makes up for the fact that you don't have your hot on you, but um, the ability shackle or unshackle, they're identical, they're just two separate abilities applying shackle or unshackle. Um, they consume 20% of your maximum HP, so you're pretty much killing yourself slowly using that ability, which you pretty much have to spam to keep the shackle or shackle effect, um, shackle or unshackle effect in play. So it's just really, just a really cool mechanic, a really nice balancing act, but it's not too complicated either. There are other classes in the game that I, I always, always just forget how to use them because of how complicated they are to use. But, uh, you know, this is not, not as complicated as some classes in the game, so I do really like that as well. So overall, if you are looking for a really good soloing class, then this is the class for you. It's just incredibly hard to get. You require uh, 17 days minimum to get this class because of the daily quests. So if you are interested, by the way, you should probably start farming your Elder's Bloods now. Um, they're daily, so you need 17 of them. Um, so I'd recommend if you are planning just any time in the future to get them, to get Void High Lord rather than I don't I'd suggest you go get your Eldest Bloods now. Um, but yeah, it's a really hard class to get, so you have to sort of weigh up the 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 I guess benefits to getting Void High Lord over what your current situation is. So this is this will be different for everyone, but generally, um, I'd say it's the best soloing class in the game. So if you have no soloing class or you have been looking for a soloing class to get, then you could get this class. Um, but it's maybe in your best interest to not waste a ridiculous amount of time getting Void High Lord and perhaps just to settle for something that's uh, a little bit worse. Something like, I don't know, um, Lightcaster, that's that's seasonal, I guess. Same with uh, Legion Doom Knight. Off the top of my head, I can't think of anything. Arch Paladin, I think, would be easier to get than this. Uh, there's just some easier, class, or easier soloing classes to get in the game than this one. Um, so I wouldn't recommend getting this if this is you're just looking for a soloing class. However, it's if you are looking for something that's really fun to use and you don't mind putting in the effort, then it is worth it, I suppose. Uh, it's also something really cool to collect as well. You know, it's kind of like a trophy item, a bit like the Blinding Night of Destiny or Sepulchre's Doom Knight Armor or something like that. So if uh, you're a collector of items, then I suppose this is worth it for you. Um, but yeah, the, at the end of the day, Void Hile is a really, really cool soloing class. Um, but I do have some problems with it. First of all, I find the whole soloing class just concept in general in AQW to be quite, I wouldn't say frustrating, but rather uh, a bit a bit dull and perhaps a bit uh, a bit stupid. MMORPGs are your online multiplayer games, so you'd expect there to be a lot of integration with you know other players. You'd have to cooperate with other players a lot. The whole soloing class concept is uh, against that, and uh, I. I feel like AQW would be a lot more fun if the game encouraged you to play with other players more. And the fact that they release soloing class after soloing class after soloing class after soloing class is uh, definitely not a good idea for for keeping players uh, together. It's really just splitting the player base into, uh, I guess, pockets of players that just play by themselves. Um, it's not really A's fault, however. Like it's 
It's mainly to do with the fact the way that they sort of designed the game from the very start. They didn't make their own engine, so it's kind of like they've had little control over a lot of things in the game since the very start. So I imagine balancing and stuff has always been a nightmare. So it would have been really difficult to try and incorporate, you know, I guess reworks that would encourage um, people to work together. However, I do think the server rewrite is going to incorporate a lot more multiplayer aspects, and so I do think that, that that'll help out with the situation with Void Highlord, because um, Void Highlord is just insanely good at soloing. It's just incredible. And so, well, I do appreciate that. I also think that it's, uh, it's kind of against the very nature of what MMORPGs are about. But that's not really A's fault, like I said. However, if they did want to one day rework the game and make soloing classes no more, then they could make Void Highlord a really cool tanking class. It's already got an exceptionally high health pool, so you'd just, I guess, tune the endurance or the stats to make it a, a uh, favorable class to use fighter enhancements, which I think is already happening on the server right? I think the server right has already made this class favorable for fighter enhancements, which then in increase your endurance and thus your health pool gets higher, which is great for tanking. And so I do think that this class would be an amazing tanking class. You could still have a fairly high damage output, you'd have to lower it from where it is currently, and maybe perhaps um, increase your healing so you could tank heaps of damage for your teammates. That would be a really cool way to make this class uh, viable in a new environment where cooperation is encouraged. This video turned into a little bit of like a rant about classes in general, but just remember, in, in AKW's current state, Void Highlord is an amazing soloing class, and uh, I recommend it to anyone who's willing to put in the effort to get it. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you found it helpful or you just enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.